how to do this really fun, colorful makeup. So here it is. I'm starting off with the Whipped Foundation by Revlon, but I had to mix it with the Studio Fix Fluid because I just didn't get my exact color. I really like this foundation. I just don't have the exact color match. And I'm using a Real Techniques sponge. Using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, I'm putting that all over my eyelids. And then I'm using Electric Eel as my main color. And I start off with a blending brush. And I just kind of start to do a very light base. And I'm putting it on the inner corner and the outer corner of my eyelids. Then I use this really soft pink metallic-y color. And I put that on my eyelid in the very center. I wasn't really happy with how pigmented it was, but I'll keep building on it. And that's really what this look is a lot about is building and building and building colors. I took that light champagne -y, pinky color from the Motors Cosmetics palette and I'm putting that on top just to add some more shimmer but I still wasn't satisfied. I'm adding more of that electric eel on the outer corner and the inner corner just to build that intensity up and Again, the more you layer it, the better it'll turn out. Wetting my brush, I'm going to use Kitsch Mist, and I'm putting that on top of my lids to make it really, really shimmery and sparkly the way I wanted it to be. Now what I'm doing on top, I'm doing on the bottom with the pencil brush to get really, really close to close to my lash lines and then I'm really wetting that brush and doing a little kind of painting underneath on the center part of my under eye area. Now I'm using this, uh, well, I forget what color it is, charcoal brown on my eyebrows with this teeny elf brush. For my waterline I'm using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in the color Nude I believe and I'm putting that on my waterline. I didn't add any lashes, but I'm making sure to put a ton of the Falsies mascara. I had old mascara on from the day before, and I had glue from the other look that I tried the other day. So my lashes were all kinds of messy, but um, I think it turned out okay. <laughs> then I'm using more of the uh, foundation because I didn't have my concealer right in front of me, um, just to kind of blend it out and take away some of that shimmer that came down from when I did on my eyelids. To bronze up my face, I'm not really using too much of a contour, but I'm using the color Shade Stir with the Real Techniques fluffy brush, and I'm putting that on the general same areas of my face that I usually do. I'm using this highlighting pen on the tops of my cheekbones to add some more brightness to the center of the face, which I felt that I lost the more and more foundation I kept using. <laughs> But this really did help out with um, getting the center of the face a little brighter. I wanted to bring that glitter a little further down so it looks almost like it's like dripping. And so I did the same technique before where I wet the brush really, really well and then just made a cream. And that's kind of how it looks like now. That's being swooned by MAC and I'm putting that as my blush. I'm using the Ulta Baked Bronzer and putting that on the tips of my cheekbones, more like a shimmer than anything. Um, but I did add an extra layer of shimmer with the Beauty Blender Dupe Dupe. I had a lot of fun with these Milani lip products. So the first one I'm using is Fiery Coral 03 and it feels awesome. It's like Candy Yum Yum, but it feels creamier and it stays to that satiny finish, not a matte finish, and doesn't dry out your lips. The second is Red Control 01, and it's a power lip. There's another color that I did have, and it's a really nice berry color. I forget the name of it now, but I gave it to my sister, which I really regret now, but it feels so good throughout the day, and it feels like a nice juicy lip, and I love the color. The last one is just a general lip gloss, but it actually has a high pigmentation. I have a beauty mark on my lip, and it pretty much covered it mostly. The color is Bare Secret, and it's awesome. It's like 
It's almost like fresh bruised lipstick by MAC, but in a gloss form. So here's a before face of the clone, and this is pretty much the after. I really like the eyes when it's bare um, lips, but I also like that pop of color. This one made me look think of a clown, that's why I called it clown makeup. And then the other one also is a little clowny. But I loved it, and I'm really happy that I got to try something new. Hope you liked it.